Noah Sears and WPTZ. Finn, um, now that you guys have had the opportunity to watch a little more tape on Marquette, how are you feeling personally about uh, a potential matchup with Tyler Cole, like Big East Player of the Year? Uh, yeah, we got some different looks. We got some different uh, actions to kind of surprise them or give them different type of looks, you know. Uh, it's not going to be easy playing them man on man the whole time. So we got some different defenses for them, but if I guard him, I'm going to be ready to guard him. If Rob guards him, he's going to be ready to guard him. If Dill guards him, he's going to be ready to guard him. So it doesn't really matter. We'll be ready to play. John Leazy with the Marquette Wire out in Milwaukee. Marquette poses a unique challenge with Oso Iguodaro and Tyler Kolak as the playmakers. What has just been the focus in practice and try to handle that? And have you guys faced uh, players like those uh, throughout the season uh, in the America East? Um, yeah, he's a really good player, and uh, you know, end of the day, we want to play our Vermont defense and uh, making sure we're following our principles and the stuff we're working on in practice. Um, you know, it's gonna we have to rebound the ball like any other team. We're a little bit smaller team, um, but yeah, end of the day, we gotta we gotta just guard man to man and um, really match up to those guys. Whitney Harding, WCMH here in Columbus. Um, let's see, Finn. Um, you guys had a slow start to the season. You played a really tough non-conference, a lot of travel. How did the, that challenging start kind of prepare you guys for now what's going to be happening with travel and a tough team in this one? Yeah, for sure. A lot of travel beginning of the season, a lot of playing good teams at their place, uh, and that's definitely going to help us uh, now. Helped us in the playoffs for sure, and it's going to help us now for sure. Uh, Noah Sears and WPTZ in Burlington, Vermont, coach. Um, you know, you guys have the unique advantage of starting four fifth-year seniors. Marquette, on the other hand, a little bit of a younger team. Um, I'm just curious, kind of in this sort of one-and-done format, what does that do for you guys? Um, not only having those guys, but also Nick and a AD and guys coming off the bench of that have had this experience as well. Yeah, we're hoping that it pays dividends. Um, like you said, we are experienced, especially at the guard spot uh, against a Marquette team that's going to uh, try to, you know, that pressures teams, tries, tries to turn them over and uh, turn you over. And so, um, you know, it should be, it should help us uh, in this game having experienced guards that have, that have uh, not only played a lot of games, but played in, in the NCAA tournament. So um, we're hoping that uh, pays dividends. Coach, over here, uh, Scott Gradsky, CBS Milwaukee. How important is a, a fast start in this tournament setting? Yeah, I mean, that's something that we've talked about more as a staff than with the players. But Marquette's, uh, you know, has jumped on teams um, uh, this year. And, and that's something we got to keep control of the game early. Um, you know, I think their pressure um, can, can startle some teams, you know, and then uh, that kind of jump starts their offense where they're able to. Uh, um, you know, get going on that end of the court and, and, and make some threes and, and so forth. So, yeah, we've got to come out. We've got, we, we have to have a good start, you know, because, uh, you know, look at the Big East Championship game and, and things like that. They, they, they can jump on you.